Hey, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be doing a step-by-step -step guide showing how to install NVIDIA's CUDA along with PyTorch, Stable Diffusion, and Yellow Object Detection. Now before I get started, I wanted to mention that I also made another video showing how to use all these tools with an AMD RX 6000 series GPU. So if you're an AMD owner, then be sure to check out that video as well. It turns out that you don't need an NVIDIA GPU to run AI models, despite what this guy might claim. If you have enough NVIDIA cards put together, you can enable all this incredible artificial intelligence stuff that everybody's so excited about doing now. Best of all, there is absolutely zero competition. None! I've never seen anything like it. It's a monopoly by genius. While it's true, NVIDIA currently offers the fastest performance for many AI workloads. And they also have some pretty ambitious plans for the future, that doesn't mean they don't have any competition. The next few years will be interesting because AMD isn't the only competitor stepping up to the plate with hardware that's optimized for these sort of workloads. There are plenty more big tech companies who are also investing into their own machine learning hardware, and I'm interested in seeing how the market shapes up as AI becomes more mainstream. But for now, let's focus on the hardware that's currently available and talk about how to install and use NVIDIA's CUDA. So let's begin by first going to my website where I've listed all the commands I'll be using today, to make it easy for you to copy and paste them into the terminal. The link is in the video description. This guide should work with any Ubuntu-based distro such as Pop! OS or Linux Mint. Personally, I'll be running Kubuntu based on Ubuntu 22.04 to demonstrate the process, but at the end of the video, I'll also go over how to set up on an Arch-based distro as well. Also, all the necessary packages will be installed locally to the system rather than using containers such as Docker. Some people may prefer going the container route instead, especially if you're a developer who frequently works with different versions of packages. But for most people, installing locally will be perfectly fine. I've tested the following steps with both an RTX 3060 and a GTX 980 Ti. I'll be doing this guide today using the 980 Ti, but the process will be the same if you're running a newer GPU. NVIDIA has dropped support for cards that are older than Maxwell generation in the more recent CUDA versions, but it still might be possible to run the models I'll be showing today on older GPUs if you install an older version of CUDA, but I won't be covering that. Alright, so the first step is to verify you have the GPU drivers installed. The easiest way to install the drivers is by selecting this option when installing an Ubuntu-based distro. You can check if the drivers are installed by entering the NVIDIA-SMI command. You should see information about your GPU. If not, then that means you need to install the GPU drivers. You can do this by copying and pasting these two commands here, and once it's done installing, be sure to restart the computer before continuing. Also, the information provided by NVIDIA SMI will also tell you the maximum CUDA version that's supported by those drivers, which is handy to know but usually not necessary. Now we'll install the CUDA toolkit by entering these two commands. This will take a while to download and install. Once it's finished, Verify that CUDA was successfully installed by running this command, nvcc space dash capital V. This command will tell you which CUDA version was installed, which should be 11.5 at the time of making this video. Installing CUDA the way I just showed is the easiest way, but it won't give you the latest version. For most people, this won't make a difference, but if for some reason you need the latest drivers, then you'll want to follow this guide on NVIDIA's site here. Next, we'll install PyTorch, which can be done either through Conda or PIP. I'll be showing how to install it with PIP. If you don't have PIP installed on your system, you can do so with this command. Now let's install PyTorch. You might want to create a Python virtual environment before installing packages with pip, but it's not necessary. 
If your CUDA version is 11.8 or later, you could try the more recent version of PyTorch which can be installed with the second command. If you get an error installing the newer version, then use the older version instead. Since this system's CUDA version is 11.5, I'll use the first command. This might take a while to finish installing. Once it's done, we can verify PyTorch is working correctly and has GPU support by entering the Python console and copying and pasting these two lines of code, and push enter. If it returns true, then everything is good to go. Type exit parentheses to leave the Python console. Now let's try it out with a real application using YOLO object detection. So let's take a look at the YOLO v5 repository on GitHub. While there are newer versions of YOLO available, I've found that v5 works well even on older hardware, so it's a good version to try first before trying newer versions. Let's go back to my website where I've included the commands to install it. First, copy and paste these commands to download the repository and install the dependencies with pip. Now we're ready to run the inference. The easiest way to do that is to enter this command and make sure you have a webcam connected to the system. And there it is. YOLO object detection is now running on the GPU. And performance is good even on older hardware such as the 980Ti. Now to quit the application, either hold Q on the window or press Ctrl C in the terminal. Alright, so now let's try out a different application. Let's see how to get Stable Diffusion Web UI running. I've included the necessary commands on my website. So the first thing to do is make sure the Python Virtual Environment package is installed. If not, then here's the package you need to install. Next, clone the Stable Diffusion repository and enter the directory. Now we're ready to run the application, so enter this command to get it started. It will probably take a while to start the first time, but after that it should start almost immediately. Also, I included the xformers argument since that should give slightly better performance. Alright, so now let's go to the browser and enter localhost colon 7860 as the address and the web UI should pop up. The application should have downloaded a default model, so it should be ready to use. Simply enter the keyword you want and push enter. And as you can see, Stable Diffusion is running pretty well even on older hardware such as the 980Ti. To quit the application, go to the terminal and press Ctrl C. Now the process for Arch-based distros is extremely similar as above except for how the NVIDIA drivers are installed. The packages in Arch are more up to date than the packages in the Ubuntu repositories. So this will ensure that you get the most up to date CUDA version. So to install the drivers, all you need to do is install one of these packages depending on your preference. For most people, the first option will be fine. If you prefer the open source drivers, then you can install those with this package. Although there is not too much of a difference between them. Now to install the CUDA toolkit, simply install the CUDA package. The rest of the guide should be the same, except you'll need to download the given packages via Pacman instead of APT. Well, hopefully you found this guide to be helpful and easy to follow. If you did, then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and let me know how it went for you. If you have any questions or issues, then feel free to drop a comment as well, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm planning to apply yellow object detection to a custom security camera project in Python that I've made a few videos about already, so feel free to check out that playlist if you're interested in following along. But anyway, that's all for today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.